ea cu huia ca imana o te na tata o catoa. Te na tata o catoa e cara pini pene mai nei, ira roite tu anui o tata o tau fare, a o tira ira roite hau mari tanga o tata tata tau cau papa i te nei po. A nei ra hau ca mihi a kera kia cutau, te na cutau, te na cutau. Nga ti fa tu a fa anui cara nga mai, a cara nga mai ki a matau, a nga cai puoro, a matau e nga cai nui ana ki te nei o nga mahi. Karanga mai, karanga mai kia mātou. Tēnā kūtou e ngā te whātua, te mana whenua o tēnei o ngā rohe. Tēnā kūtou. O tira tēnā tātou katoa. It's wonderful to be here with you all this evening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. But to start things off, I want to hear you guys repeat something after me. I want you to say, kia mai! Let's try that one more time. Ehua mā, kia mai! Beautiful. Kia mai! It's the act of having fortitude, resilience, and bravery. Being bold, if you will. So then I ask the question to us all, when was the last time our collective industry executed bravery? When was the last time we were bold? I'm asking this as this is what I believe is required now more than ever. To be brave, to be bold, kia maia. So I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Gender imbalance across sectors and industries is something that is glaringly obvious. We hui about trying to rectify these situations, yet the status quo remains time after time. For our industry, the disparities throughout are increasingly alarming and frustrating, to say the least. Ranging from the lack of female artists on major New Zealand festivals, to a lack of promoters, DJs, producers, technicians, stagehands, etc., etc., across the board. Therefore, a distinct lack of diversity. So I ask again, are we being bold? Are we being brave? Te reo Māori music. Te reo Māori music being programmed on major radio stations, I can safely say, has never been a focus. Ever. Let me remind us all that Te Reo Māori cannot be attained anywhere else on planet Earth. Its home is only here in Aotearoa. Yet the status quo is to continue pumping time, money, and resource into a predominantly overseas based market. How are we protecting, nurturing, and placing value on our reo? And I overexert saying our, because it belongs to us all. We should take collective responsibility. <laughs> if we aren't even willing to step out of the Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori box, where everything real seems to be related, that's where it occurs on the mainstream front. E Huama, we've been sitting in this one week box since 1979. That's 40 years. Another alarming figure that we all know, the last number one hit in Te Reo Māori, Poe was some 36 years ago in 1983. And you know what I'm gonna say next? Are we being brave? Are we being bold? Those are only but a couple of examples that I lay out on the table for us to dissect, disseminate, and discuss. But if there was ever a time to fix and fill these gaping chasms in our beloved industry, it's now. Collectively, we are the answer. And as we've seen with kaupapa such as Ihu Mātau, Mauna Kea, last week's climate strike action march curated and organised by 16-year-old Greta Thunberg, there is so much power in kotahitanga. And I don't say kotahitanga lightly, I mean it from serving its one sole purpose, to bring us all together. If we draw strength from each other to change these status quos and social norms, imagine how our industry would look. We can create new norms and effect incredible change by taking collective action. Kotahitanga. Of course, admittedly, I don't have all the answers, but the conversations to diversify have begun and will continue. But I encourage us all 
as creators, artists, champions, and adoring fans of our industry to engage and enact now, so we can really create a thriving, sustainable, mana-enhancing music industry ecosystem. So e be bold, be brave, kia maya.